Welcome to the Salon Vanguard channel. A bit of a different video today. This is a vlog in London BCS. I am about to start packing. London has standard and premium. Standard on Saturday, premium on Sunday. So for standard, I basically had two options, Grand Blue and Oracle Think Tank. I'm picking Grand Blue. Reason being that if you win with OTT, you basically have zero respect. <laughs> now for premium, another deck I could take is of course Aqua Force. Now, basically, I am not enjoying playing it right now. I fell in love with Aqua Force in the Tavas times when you could draw and you could also multi-attack. You had some tempo like you could play defensively if you wanted. Right now, it's just back to Limit Break era, and I didn't like Aqua Force back then. So in the end, I did go for Grand Blue as well. So both on Saturday and Sunday, I will be playing a Baskerg deck. On neither days, that will be the top tier, in my opinion. Well, maybe in Standard it kinda is, but OTT is still better. Kagro is still really a threat. And then on day two, it will primarily be Gizeh and Ange, which I'm afraid of. So yeah, Grand Blue on both days. Also bringing one box of spares in case my playtesting in London itself feels like, ah, I kinda need this card. So every card that I imagine I could potentially take into the deck is in here. So I'm at the hotel right now. So I got here at around two. And then I was picked up by Mohamed. If you don't know him, he's the guy who topped uh, BCS Germany with a Susano build using Tankman. He actually popularized that whole thing in the West. So he's a really good player. He constantly tops. And so then we went, actually went to the venue already and had a few practice games. I trained the Gizeh matchup because I'm really scared for that one. Like honestly, Grand Blue has no way of dealing with that. If your opponent Gizeh player is awful, you have a chance, but if he isn't, I think it's a 10% win rate, to be honest. And then after being escorted to the hotel room, me and Mohammed had some pizza as well uh, in this giant fucking place called Westfield. So overall, good times, good times. Now I will be writing my deck list for standard at least. I still wanna make some changes to my premium deck actually. I'm considering Violence Flanger right now for the Gizeh matchup. The problem is Violence Flanger doesn't hit 30k by himself. So I will also have to tech in either Norman the Ghosty or Mick the Ghosty, whom I actually cut. Now tomorrow is standard. I actually didn't test for shit. I'm just going in blind with my Grand Blue build that I made and we'll see how it goes. The only reason I'm attending is because I'm here anyway for the premium. Like the thing is standard isn't that skill intensive. There isn't many things to keep in mind but I didn't even bother learning the things that uh, you should keep in mind, let's say. Because the level of variance really makes it like not worth it. You will likely still just get sacked out regardless. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just there to have some fun. So with that being said, I will start my deck list writing right now. So now it's the day of standard. I have to shower, get breakfast, and then just have some casual fun. <laughs> So I'm in, now it's just uh, waiting and then... Right now I'm going 2-0, but I, this win was stupid. I got a six damage heal. It was really dumb, otherwise I would have lost against this beautiful playmat. <laughs> and uh, I've been signing quite some stuff, so that's really cool, cool to meet people. And I'll keep you updated. So I won, so that means I'm 3-0 now. So right now I am 4-0. So currently at uh, table one, and in front of me, we have uh, Mohamed, hey. who I playtested against yesterday, and so this is really shit. I didn't want this, yet. So I ended up winning that one against Mohamed, really, really close match. It all came down to if he got a trigger on that final swing win in Burial Daughter, and he didn't. 
And so, because it didn't rewrite, so we couldn't stack. So now I'm 5-0, currently 6-0. So right now I'm 6-1, sadly. I was at table one again. I went against uh, Alain, I think. And so I lost a die roll, which is huge in standard, especially in the Protect Mirror match. Uh, so I lost a die roll, and then I missed Basker. So that really set me up for failure. It ended up being really close, but then I lost. Finally back in the hotel. Uh, it's after midnight, I should sleep. But to recap, it was actually a really nice day. Uh, not specifically just Vanguard, just many things overall. So I went into the tournament completely unprepared, to be honest. Um, I didn't really mind, like I was here for a premium and this was just a fun sighting. And so I ended up winning first round and second round and third and fourth and fifth and sixth. And so I was 6-0 I was like, what the hell, this is actually gonna work for some reason. And so then the sixth round still goes bad. And then in the final round, um, I go up against another OT team. Actually, the whole all of top eight was six OTTs and two other decks, six out of top eight. I basically missed ride, so I had to G assist. I missed that first assist, and then I had to do a second one. And then I milled like all my triggers, not all, well, I milled eight in like the span of two turns, which is insane. Like literally just going Romario, mill three triggers. Okay, Ruin Shade, Mill 2, Ruin Shade, Mill 2. It was like, how? So that happened, and then I lost, of course. Like, there was no way to recover from that. And so then I ended up being 13th place out of like 250 people or something, which is all right. Like, I went in unprepared and somehow went 6-0. So now I'm actually gonna focus on the premium for tomorrow. Now I will say, it's way too late to actually focus. I may just write my deck list in the morning. With that being said, the day itself was actually insane. Like the people were so nice. I think overall, I ended up signing like 30 gift markers, literally 30. Just so many people coming up, can you sign? And I love that, like it shows people appreciate the, the videos I do and then I get to meet everyone, which was awesome. I think I also like signed a dozen play mats or something. Some zero damage, some not zero damage. This was really cool. I will see you tomorrow. I will be sleeping now. So this is some anime shit right here, but we're in the morning right now before the tournament and I feel like making some deck changes. So this is actually not even the final build. I already changed it a bit for my last build with which I won the shop challenge. I'm gonna make a few more changes that I feel like will improve my chances today. On that note, always bring a box with spares. You never know when it may come in handy. Okay, so because I ha still had to write my deck list, I'm now actually late for registration. Then I come downstairs and it's fucking gushing, a massive drizzle, because it's fucking London, of course it is. So now I need to find something that won't make me... Ah, there we go. Why are the memes real? Why? So my feet and pants are wet. London is just a bunch of puddles and hills. I walked into like a bunch. Oh well. So we're in, uh, registration just started. I'm number 65. It's gonna be like an hour more of registration. So now it's just uh, the waiting game. This is today's premium tournament. Please lose. So right now we have the buy squad here. Um, we're playing with Mohamed again, uh, some Gize matchup, so we just switch. I play my Grand Blue, he plays his OTT, and then I play Gize and vice versa, and we keep going because it's such a cancer deck. You really need to watch your steps. So after the buys, I now am 3-0 because I just had a win against Luar, currently 5-0. I don't have time to update you. Because uh, the next round is about to start. So I just had the sickest game. I go up against Gize. My deck name, by the way, is Hope I Dodge All the Gizes. So I didn't. I go up against Gize. This guy goes on his defensive trigger. Draw, heal, draw, draw, heal. Like, he healed to two instantly. Like, he was never over two. That's how much he healed. I think three or four went off. And so he was immediately at Gize. So what do I do? I... G-Guard went, for some reason he gave me so much damage, he kept attacking me, I was super thankful. And so he was at 2 damage, he attacked me, he put me to 5, for some reason. I G-Guard, so next turn I go to Negro Summer, because that means I can use my Violence Flanger, which is a little combo right there, Violence Flanger. Because uh, I knew the only way I win this, because Granblue has such an awful matchup against Gize, like the only way I win this is Flanger 
and three crits on Flanger. By the way, I also had to G assist. Like, this whole game was against me for some reason. He was immediately on Gizeh. G assist, like, so bad. I go on Flanger. Wait, wait, wait. My boy, my boy. This was, damn. Okay, I'll finish the yes. story. I'll finish the story. I swing. Crit, crit, crit. Flanger for game. Wow. That was nice. the best. Close. You don't even know it was against Gizeh. Oh, wow. It was Holy pure shit. karma. Sadly, me and Mohammed meet on table one yet again. So we have to try to beat each other's faces in yep. yet again. This time it's going to be Sasano and Tankman coming out <laughs> again. Why? Okay, well, good luck. We had the epic rematch of yesterday. I won yesterday, now he won in premium. What? Congrats, you played really well. Thank you, you too. Um, hopefully, you're, you're gonna top, like you're in, so hopefully I win. I think he's the winner next round. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, I watched the game for a little bit, but you were in control like the whole game. Yeah, the early rush was too painful. Yeah, and then like, even in late game, it was like 14 card hand. Yeah, there, there was no way to record. Just the fact that I was at 4 made me like have to overextend like crazy. Yeah. But so yeah, that was that. I'm 6 5, so hopefully. I top 8, I really really hope so. Find the reaction. Oh. Find their gun there. Finally on the room, I am tired as hell. So eventually, I hit top 8, as you saw. Very happy with that, with Grand Blue. When I got to top 8, I faced OTT Gize for the second time today. Uh, this time it was against a really, really nice guy, but I did end up losing. He saw uh, a bit too many heals for me to keep up with. Um, I did make one misplay, but it wasn't uh, game-changing, because in the end, I swung with Violence Flanger, which was actually the tech that I put in this morning, as you saw in this video. It was the one tech I was like, okay, I need this card, I believe, for the Giza matchup, because me and Mohammed, who then took third place, actually, so congrats, had been playtesting Giza for like the whole weekend against each other. I would play Giza, he would play his deck, I would play my deck, he would play Giza, and keep going. And so that actually helped so much, and that gave me the flanger idea. So this morning I put in the flanger, and that's actually what gave me this top, so I'm very happy with that change. And so I went in, in the top eight, with my flanger swing, with two crits on it, because that whole game I barely saw any triggers. My deck was maybe like 10 cards, and seven of which were triggers still. I swing with my flanger with three damage total, like two extra crits on him, and my opponent was at three damage, couldn't guard, uh, he would be at six, but then he heals. So sadly, I did get knocked out of top eight. Regardless, I'm very happy with the top eight itself. The guy I lost to was actually really nice. Overall, just a really amazing weekend. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and now I can finally rest.